And here's a special story to report tonight. Housing remains an issue, particularly for the islands that were impacted by Hurricane Dorian. That is why a humanitarian for the islands of Grand Bahama and Abaco is continuing to assist residents in need tonight. He shares with our Jolanda Thompson a new project that is currently underway to provide a safety net to those in need of shelter. Owner of Subculture Group and founder of Hospitality Helping Hands, Rodney Mayo, expresses that he, along with 350 of his volunteers, have partnered with Margaritaville to supply relief efforts for Bahamians following the passage of Hurricane Dorian. Mayo says post Dorian, his team was on the ground completing 11 missions and they were able to assist in the evacuation of about 50 Bahamians. He also reveals that his upcoming projects include container homes for residents who have no place to stay. Yes, we have. Uh, we are uh, building and designing container homes, and we're, we set our first one up in uh, Foxtown in Abaco, and um, we're actually bringing a second one to Grand Bahama and donating that to a family here. And we're, we'd like to expand on that program with the container homes because some people are still don't have their, you know, are still living um, without their homes, but still own the property. Um, and then we're also working with the um, with the stray population mainly in Abaco because there just hasn't been the relief um, efforts there since the storm just because the facilities haven't been rebuilt. He explains the process of constructing and planting the homes. 350 square feet and kind of the cool and we convert it into uh, either one or two bedroom kind of micro home and it's kind of like a starter home and we design these to withstand 200 mile an hour winds so they're one of the few um, one of the few structures that's able to qualify for 200 mile an hour winds. Um, they're also movable, so it helps. It, it checks a lot of the boxes as far as um, being able to survive a hurricane. And um, they can also be completely off the grid with a solar system. So if you do lose power, you can still function and still live. And they're also the most economical way because it's it's like one-fifth the cost of traditional construction. When asked the inspiration behind his line of work, he notes that he has great love for his neighbors, the Bahamians. It's high and I've always, I've kind of always felt like the Bahamas are really part of the United States and our neighbors. And, you know, I... Even though it's a separate country, an international country, I still feel like it's it's as close to driving uh, to Miami from where I am and just feel like the Bahamians are our neighbors. The humanitarian says the third container will take about 60 to 90 days to be constructed, adding that his high hope is to use the homes as models, giving the government an idea of a new modernized way of living. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Julanda Thompson.